this is Saro. In this video, we will learn how we can fetch images from API. So, let me show you the demo of this app first. Then, we will create this app step by step. So, here you can see that's our app demo random dog image, and you can see the random dog. So, let me just click on that button. And you can see that's the random dog image. Let me just click on again. You can see again image, click on again and again. So all these images we are fetching using one free API. In this video, we will learn how we can implement that API in MIT App Inventor. So here we go. Click on a start new project and my project name is dog new API and okay. So that's my first screen here. So I need to use your one label, one layout and that is horizontal arrangement and one button. Simple. Now we need one component here and that is web component. So click on that connectivity and you will find your web component. Using this component we will call our API. Now we need to just design that first screen here. So click on that label one and I'm just here random dog image make this one 20 pixel 25 pixel make this one text white make this one screen align center and then click on that horizontal make this height is at least 60 percent and make this width is fill parent change that screen background color to like uh, let me just change background color custom and change that background color to like this change that horizontal background color to something like custom go to the color turn then change that button text and to make this one is get random dock and change that button color so i'm to make this button color something both like a this one is a dark color. This should not be a good, maybe. Yeah, but it's fine. Let's look good. You can change that uh, UI, you know, uh, according to your requirement. Yeah, it's fine. Now, let me just show you how it's look here. Random dog, cat random dog. So that's the thing. Now, you can see that is horizontal arrangement. So we need to drag and drop your one image component. Click on user interface and you can see the image. Just drag and drop it here. Make sure horizontal arrangement should be in a center and top aligned, aligned vertical should be in a center. Fine. So that's our design. Click on that screen and change that title is like something dark or something else. Cool. Now we need to call the API. So here we find that API. I will give you that API link in the description. Whenever you call this API, you will get this format, this text okay now you can see that's the block and here is around 50 apis and all these apis are totally free of cost so we are using your one of that api is that is called dog api just search your dog this api we are using here after implementing that one api so whenever you learn how we can implement that api so after this you can implement all these 50 apis in your app so now I will give you both link like this blog link or this URL, this API link in the description. Now we need to copy this URL here, go to the MIT Implementor, click on that web and you need to paste that URL here in that URL field. Cool. Now go to the blog section. First of all, we need to create one variable here, this one and that variable name is like JSON format and we will assign this as our text. Now, whenever someone click on that button, it means this button is our random get random dog button. So go to the block. Whenever someone click on that button, so we will call that web.get, web1.get. It means we are fetching that API. Now, whenever we call this, so this block automatically will call that got text, this block. So we need to get the text. So I'm going to use your one label is like this one label here I'm going to change that text color to white like this go to the block and what I will do 
I'm going to set that label to dot text. Okay, this one. But if I just uh, set this respond con content like this here, and let me just see how it's look content. Like click on get render, and you can see this text look like this. But I need a JSON for it. So for that, I have to convert that text to click on web, and you'll find your JSON text decode so we have to decode that text and we need a proper format so for that we just we will call it here and we will call this get response content here now i'm going to convert we are converting your response content in the json text decode and we will save that or we are fetching that code in that label to dot text so let's see how it's work now click on random Okay, and you can see that's the format. It's a JSON format right now. Now it's a proper format. So you can see that this one is the first is the key and second is the value. Now we need to fetch the value. So go to the design. Let me just show you one thing. What let me just make it to the 20 so you can see it a properly format. Go to the click on see that is that is message is the key and that image URL. This image URL is our value. So we have to fetch that key and value okay so how we can do that go to the blog here now we need to do one thing here we need to use your one more like label you can say like this one label it's a simple label go to the blog on that label in this it means in the label 3 i'm going to fetch the url so what's the url like i'm going to fetch that click on list and you will find here the option of the look up in a pair this one so i will just do your but the key which key we have to fetch i'm to fetch that message message value so my key name is message here you will find that's the key let me just show you you can see that message that is the key okay now i have to find this so pair which is the pair so pair is label to dot text because we have converted this here but what i need to do i need to do one thing here i can't directly set this as a label to so what i will do here i will set this value in the json this one that we have created that variable so set global json value here simply you just need to delete this label to and now we need to fetch like get this json here pair got it now let me just try go to the design let me just make this one is like at least 20 and make this text is white let me just see in the label to value okay and refresh this click on get random doc here you'll find now we have the url that is the url okay we need it so let me just to one more thing here i'm going to display the label to value also label to text here and this one is like json this one so you will get the you will get the idea like how it's working get random dot you can see what we have done we have fetched the api first we have converted that to the proper format and that is the format after converting the format we are calling that here look up here and we are getting that message key that is the key and that is the value so we are fetching that here in the value now we have to fetch that image in the where in that image one so it's simple go to the block click on that image and you will find your set image dot picture not available delete this and label three dot text is our image url now just refresh this go to here and now we need to click on that cat random dog see that is the image i'm going to hide both label from here design let me just hide this one visible off let me just hide label three also let's go to here again here and click on random dog see that is the dog it's pretty cool click on again yeah click on again so we don't need to store all these images in our app but still we can fetch all these images 
and there are a lot of images so that that is really very useful api to find random dog images for dog lovers and you can see there are a lot more apis i think you should try all these api there are one more api like this weather api okay i think yesterday we have learned how we can use the plugin to fetch the weather uh, information but you don't need to use the extension also you can directly use the api to fetch the weather info there are a lot more api so if you need any help related to fetching the api so just comment on the video i'll try my best to solve your problem thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe my channel like this video and share this video have a nice day be safe bye bye